Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about DES algorithm. So DES works with symmetric key. Now to implement DES, it's actually very simple. Uh, since uh, we need a plain text, we need a key to generate a cipher text. What Java does is it has inbuilt libraries or inbuilt packages to give you those keys and then you can do encryption and decryption with those keys. Okay, so let's try to implement that. So for that, let me create a Java class here. And we'll name this Java class as DES. Next. And we'll do, yeah, okay. Okay, so what we need first is we need a main function here. So we'll say P PSVM tab, it will give you a main, main method. Okay, uh, we need two things. We need a plain text and we need a cipher text. So we have string PT and string CT. So PT is your plain text and CT is your cipher text. Now, next thing is uh, if you want to, if you want to uh, encrypt this plain text to cipher text, what we need is a, we need a key, right? Again, uh, B DES goes with 56-bit key. So uh, we don't, I don't want to create those keys, right? So I want Java to give me that key. So for that, we have a class uh, in Java called as secret key, which will give me the, uh, give me the key. Again, how to import the package? If you say control space here, it will fetch that key from this uh, secret key, uh, sec uh, this package Java X dot crypto. So we'll say it is as key, okay? Now I need to take input from user, so we'll use buffer header. So again, uh, you can take input from user using buffer header. Time bin will go for the direct data. So I will say uh, my plain text is uh, what we can do. We'll go, I will go with my name, Navin Reddy. Okay, so my plain text is Navin Reddy. And okay, now we need to get uh, we have to create an object of this key, right? Again, I guess this is not a class; it's an interface, right? So it's a secret key is an interface. That means to create object of this interface, we have to use some some class or one class which has implemented this secret key. And the class which has implemented this is your uh, key generator. So using key generator, you will get the object of secret key. Now again, key generate. If you want to get object of key generator, it's a singleton class, which means uh, whenever you want to create object of key generator, you have you have you have to get uh, you have to use a function called as get instance. Uh, because we want to get only one object of it, that is a singleton class. So we have to use get instance. We cannot use new key generator here. Again, what is singleton class? You can go you can go to YouTube and you can search uh, about singleton class. Okay, so time bin will go for this uh, key generator dot get instance, which will give me the object. Now it will ask me which object you need. I will say I need object of uh, 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 I need a key for DES. So we have to specify the algorithm name here, which is DES. And then we'll see when we'll say I need a key for that. So generate key symbol right so this generate key will actually give me the object of secret key so if I check just go here it says it will return it will return uh, can you see this it's public final secret key so it will give me object of secret key okay now uh, I guess there will be some yeah so we have a checked exceptions here uh, which means th uh, there is a possibility that this algorithm does not ex that does not exist. For that, it will give, generate an error. So we have to say those exception. Okay. So for checked exceptions, uh, check, checked exceptions, you have to go for those exception there. Okay. Now once you got the key, once you got the plain text, you can actually find the cipher text now. And to find the cipher text, we'll say do encrypt as we have done last time also. So do encrypt will pass two parameters here. First, we'll pass a plain text, and then we'll pass a key. So that it will it will do some operations and you will get the cipher text. Okay. Once you got the cipher text, we'll print the cipher text. So we'll say S out tab and we'll say city. So after encryption you have you will get the cipher text and then you have to print city. Now question arise, what will be the operations in do encrypt method, right? So let's define that method again. It should be a static uh, string do encrypt. Uh -oh. Do encrypt it will take two parameters one will be uh, string pt and second will be string key 
no string case this time it is secret key secret key key okay now what next okay so we have a secret key key here now now to find ciphertext uh, once you do all the operations you will get ciphertext right so for that we have to create object of cipher again this cipher is a, a singleton class so that means to create object of this cipher we have to use cipher dot get instance and this yeah in this you have to pass the algorithm name which is again des now there is a possibility that this algorithm does not exist so it will generate an error so we'll say throws exception okay then now once you got this object c we have to initialize this object and to initialize we'll say c dot init this will initialize initialize your ciphertext but when, when when you talk about the cipher block you can we can we can create cipher block for two purpose one for encryption second for decryption to specify this cipher block will work for encryption you have to say you have to use a constant which is called as uh, encrypt mode and which belongs to a class called a cipher so we'll say cipher dot encrypt mode and then you have to pass a key now why encrypt mode and key because for one cipher block works only for one mode and works only for one key plain text might, might uh, maybe maybe different but uh, mode and key will be same for one block now to do these operations with des first we have to convert your plain text into a byte code or a byte format because des algorithm works on blocks so what we do is we have to create a byte array for that and we'll name this byte array as uh, my pt bytes next now to convert this pt into bytes we'll say directly get bytes so it will convert this into byte format but again in bytes also you have different formats and one of the format is utf8 so time being for our example we are going for a encoding format as utf8 then now once you got your plain text in byte format once you got your cipher block now we can go for actual operations and that operation is we'll say finally do encryption so we'll say do final do final on what on pt bytes so it will apply those operation on pt bytes and it will give you a cipher blocks then to store that cipher blocks we'll again create a byte array and we'll, na we'll name this as enc as encoded cipher again uh, object name can be anything so time when i'm going for enc which means encoded cipher now since it is an encoded encoded format we have to convert that cipher into string now how to convert that into string format is very simple we'll say string str uh, equal to new string and in bracket we can pass e and c simple right and finally what we'll do is we'll say return str now it should work right almost we have done everything we have done the encryption part and then we have return ct and then uh, we have printing ct here now let's check it's work if it works so right click and run now ignore the background sound it's my nephew who's making all the sounds uh, it's running okay and this is the encoded format right again now you can see we have something called as enb you can see uh, something this this all are ciphertext but problem is what is this box the problem is when you talk about this string format it only works with ascii values there is there is the possibility that this encoded format is not a ASCII representation so for that this will not work because of this thing it's giving me those box to actually convert that encoded format into a readable ASCII formats because it is unreadable format now to make it readable we'll have to use something called as base64 which will convert your data into a readable format so we have a class called as base64 encoder and this object has a method called as encode and in which you have to pass your enc now as you do, do this it will convert your text into a readable format let's see some warning okay no issue and let's run this file now again it will give you cipher text but this time it is a readable format now you can read there is no box here it's a cipher text which is a readable format right it's so simple
So this is how you find encryption and decryption. So uh, this we have done with only encryption part. What if you want to go for decryption? So it's very simple. Again, you have to go for plain text equal to do decrypt and then you have to say ct comma key. Right. Now, so we have to define this method here. So we'll say uh, it's a static. So static string do decrypt. And we'll say string ct comma secret key. I will say key. Uh oh, typo. Okay, there might be some chances that will give you exceptions. So by let me take down this. Okay. Now what next? Uh, we have to do all this, all the same operations, right? The, this, the difference will be instead of going for encryption mode, this time we'll go for decryption mode. That's it. Let's go for it. Uh, the steps are simple. First, we have to create object of cipher, which is cipher C, and then we have to go for cipher dot get instance. In this, you have to mention the algorithm name, which is DES. And then we'll say uh, C dot init. Again, as you know, the difference is this time we'll have to go for the decryption mode. So cipher dot decrypt mode. And then you have to specify the key. Now, once you, con uh, once you have initialized your cipher block for decryption mode, the first step you have is you have to convert your cipher text, which is a string format, to an uh, encoded format. Because again, to do the, the decryption part, you have to apply decryption mode on cipher blocks, which is byte blocks. So again, to convert that into byte blocks, we have to use the same, we can use the same keyword or same words. So we'll say new. Now this time we have to convert from string to byte, right? Last time we have converted from byte format of byte encoded format to string format. That's why we have base encoder. This time we are converting your string into a uh, byte format. That's why we have to use something called as base 64. Yeah, I guess was right. It was, it will be decoder. And then we have to say, uh, we don't have a decode method. We have a decode buffer in which you have to pass your CD. So this cipher string will convert it into encoded, uh, encoding byte, uh, byte format. Now what next? We have to do, again, same step we have to do for final. It will do the encryption, oh, sorry, decryption on ENC. And then you will get a byte format uh, of byte array as you have done last time. So again, we'll name this as PT bytes. Now, once you got the PT bytes, now we have to convert this plain text or plain uh, bytes into a string. This time we can directly use str equal to new string because by by default it is, it is in readable format, right? Okay. Now, what we have to convert? We have to convert PT bytes. In which format? You have to mention UTF-8. That means it is already in a readable format, so no need for converting it. And last step will be you have to return your str. That's it. Now let me run this code. Uh, let me print this. I'm not printed it. So this is my PT. Let me run this code. So this was your encryption, and this is your decryption part. Simple, right? So this was your DES. Uh, next value will be depend upon uh, AES and Blowface, so stay tuned for the further videos. Thank you so much.